welcome back. It's LaShonda with Lather and More, and today we will be restocking our Dragon's Blood soap. Now, this particular soap has the Dragon's Blood fragrance oil in it, but as you guys know, I like to create my own blends. So, the fragrance also has vanilla rosewood as well as sandalwood in it, too. Alright, so what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and um, add our kale and clay just to our oils right now and our collodial oatmeal and next we are going to incorporate those into the oil right before we add our lye water. I am soaping at room temperature again. My lye water is at 74, my oil is at 84. Once this is good and incorporated into the oils, I will go ahead and add the lye water. Alright, that's good and incorporated. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the lye water. And I'm using a strainer to strain my lye water just to catch anything that did not dissolve. I um, do add sugar and salt, which is kosher, um, not kosher salt, um, sea salt in the lye water as well as sodium lactate. All right, it's at a semi-light trace. I'm gonna go ahead and add my coconut milk to my soap batter. Get these out of the way. And stick blend it to a medium trace. That is good and incorporate it. I'm gonna go ahead and split my batch and Today's colors, I am using the Really Red Mica from Nurture Soap and the Ultramarine Blue um, from TKB. And the third color, it's just going to be the regular color of the soap, you guys. Um, this will discolor um, to a amber kind of color. To this really red mica, I've added a little bit of activated charcoal because I did want it to be like a blood red. And um, when it discolors, it's really, really pretty. It's it's just it 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 says men all over it, and it smells amazing. Um, I, I'm sure I'm not the first person that probably paired um, Dragon's Blood with uh, sandalwood or um, vanilla rosewood, but those three go together really, really nice, and um, my customer loves it. Um, they've smelt regular Dragon's Blood soap, and it does smell good, don't get me wrong, you guys. It does, but when I tell you, when you add that vanilla rosewood and that sandalwood to it, it just, it sends it over the top in a good way. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and mix in our colorants. That doesn't have any color in the middle, but, um, kind of get where I'm getting, mm, let me see. I'm trying to get everything in the shot, you guys, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm scraping the bottom because um, the colorant tends to settle at the bottom. So before I stick blend this, I want to make sure that I have all of the sides scraped down before I start stick blending. <laughs> I made my first soap. And this is how much of an amateur I was, you guys. I made my first soap, and I soaked at 130 degrees. I don't know what I was thinking, but the fragrance was a peachy pear fragrance. And as soon as I added my lye water, it just 
overseas. I mean, I was screaming at my daughter like, Ja'Kaylin, go get me something. Oh my God, I gotta hurry up and get it in. And it was the most hilarious thing ever. But that was like my one of my first uh, sales of soap. So I'm gonna add my fragrance oil evenly. my soap batter. As you can see the soap is still very loose, which I like. Um, the natural soap color, it will discolor uh, to an amber color. A really pretty amber color and I, I love it. Um, this is one of my favorite men's soaps to make and it sells really well. So I'm very blessed about that. Um, but I haven't had any complaints about it. I, I restock it quite often. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know what else that I could possibly say about it that, you know. I mean, I'm sure all soapers will say, oh, you know, the soap is really amazing. But for real, you guys, like, this soap is really good. And by me adding um, the sugar to the lye water and also the soap, it makes for a super duper hard bar of soap. And the bubbles are unreal. Like natural soap has like really creamy bubbles. Um, but this soap, you guys have, uh, uh, the lather is, is, is crazy. Put it that way. The lather is stupid crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick blend my fragrance in. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my mold out and start pouring. Whew. I believe it's like 8 and 90 degrees in my house, you guys. I'm sweating. Alright, blue's first. In goes blue. Followed by the natural. the red and I'm gonna go ahead and go back and forth with this I won't make you guys watch me forever but I'm just gonna keep going ahead and alternating with these and I will bring you guys back once I have reached the top of this so
that. <clears throat> I've added all of the soap into the mold while making a huge mess as I normally do. But it's in. And that's most important. Smells amazing. Cleaning up the edges. Mmm. Lord. That smells good. Mmm. Almost cleaned up, and we're gonna go ahead and swirl this puppy, and we will be done. Mm. I'm going all the way deep. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> going all the way to the bottom, you guys, and just swirling. Nothing fancy, regular swirl. I do like there. Perfect. And we are done. Clean up these edges again. to me why every single time there is a little hole that pops up at the top. Hmm. Alright, and there you have it. We have our make a uh, remake restocking of the uh, Dragon's Blood soap. Ooh. And if you guys want to know how much this soap discolors, go ahead and go to my website, lathermore.com. You can see um, the picture of the Dragon's Blood soap, and you will see what I'm talking about when I say that it will discolor to a dark amber, um, reddish brown color. Alright you guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Love, love, love subscribers. Um, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more, comment. I do respond to my comments. Not every day, but I will get back to you. But nonetheless, thank you for watching. Tune in more from Lather and More, and stay tuned for the cut. Hey everyone, we are back with another cutting video. This is of the Dragon's Blood. Um, it's been out of the mold for. 24 hours, so I'm excited about that, and I wanted to go ahead and cut it. I could not wait a full uh, another day to cut this because this soap does have um, sodium lactate and um, sea salt and I'm not exactly sure if the camera is going to pick it up well but that's dragon's blood and it smells amazing as usual and again you guys this is going to uh, discolor to an amber color 
but it's a perfect mint so I think it's not girly um, it's quite masculine my customer my male customers love it um, I even have some female customers like it as well you know they it's it's just an overall good scent um, oh my goodness these bars are super duper hard if you're looking for a really hard bar oh my god then add a little salt to your um, recipe and I know some people have some concerns because you know they the salt tends to kill the bubbles, but because I also added um, sugar into the lye water, it bumped the bubbles um, up. So this bar soap will still be very conditioning. It will have plenty of bubbles and plenty of silky, creamy lather. So I'm excited. It almost reminds me of like Optimus Prime. This one right here, like a Transformer. That's just me. I love Transformers. Yes. All right, you guys. So that is Dragon's Blood. And um, again, thank you for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe so you can continue to watch my creations. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.